The fuel used in a nuclear reactor is uranium. It is specially encased in small pellets called fuel pellets. The probability of uranium nuclei undergoing fission increases when slow neutrons interact with them. A moderator slows down the neutrons before they strike a uranium nucleus. After the reaction is initiated, the fission of uranium can develop into a chain reaction. To stop this, control rods are used in the reactor. The rods are made of cadmium or boron. They allow only a few neutrons to pass on and absorb the rest. When the controllers are removed, the rate of fission increases. This way, the desired amount of energy can be produced. All those important parts of a nuclear reactor operate like clockwork to generate energy and create electricity. The uranium fuel is first loaded. The controller rods are removed to start the reaction. Stray neutrons inside the reactor initiate the fission. The heat generated in the reaction is carried away by a cooling gas. The heated gas then enters a heat exchanger. The heat from the gas is used to convert water to steam. The hot and pressurized steam is passed over a turbine. The rotating turbine is connected to a generator where electricity is generated.